Okay, so I pulled a flight attendant and the way this ended up happening was the coolest thing ever and I want to tell it to you guys but obviously before I do make sure you guys do leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. It seriously means a lot when you guys do and on top of that make sure you guys join me live on kick streaming telling crazy stories just like this one. But other than that let's get straight to this crazy story. Yo what is going on you guys my name's Bubba and welcome back to another crazy story. So this story takes place actually funny enough the year I graduated. I remember it was the year 2019 and I just graduated. I was 18 years old and soon to be 19, funny enough. And I remember since I was pretty young and I really did not know what to do after graduation, I thought it'd be a cool idea to take a trip to Vegas. But not just any normal trip. I wanted to go on a trip to Vegas like a king. So I remember I ended up basically getting all of my life savings, which was not the best idea, and basically got everything together and started booking flights to Vegas. Now, many of you guys are questioning, why would I want to go to Vegas out of all things? And the reason is, is because in the movies, as a Canadian, I see a lot that Vegas is the place of dreams, the place of, you know, where Elvis was playing, and basically all cool things happen in Vegas. And the best part is, is that I wouldn't have to say anything because what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. So it's like a win-win scenario. So I remember I ended up telling my family that I was going to take a trip to Vegas and they were okay with it. And I remember from there, I ended up up actually booking my ticket online and I ended up getting first class tickets. Now, first class is better than basic class tickets. You know what I mean? Like there's food involved. It's really nice. There's even alcohol. Now, I wouldn't be able to drink it because obviously in Canada, drinking age is 19 and I was literally about to turn 19. But still, I just heard it was way more comfortable than normal class. So I ended up basically getting first class tickets. And I remember I decided that day I was going to wear my nicest suit on the plane. My parents were wondering why I was wearing a suit, but to be honest, if I was going to go first class, I want to make sure they know I am first class. I don't know. In a way, to be honest, I was watching a lot of suits and I kind of just fell in love with suits at the time. So I decided to wear my suit. But going on from there, I remember as I got my suit and it was the day of my flight, I put on my suit and got it all nice up and dressed and ready. And as I was ready, I remember I ended up basically getting my luggage and ended up going to the plane. Now, this trip was only going to be for a week. Weekend, but still, I wanted it to be the best weekend of my life. So I remember I ended up hopping on the plane. And as I hopped on the plane, out of nowhere, there was a lady that was kind of instructing, like telling people where to go. And I realized that she was a flight attendant. Now, this flight attendant, when I was walking onto the plane, she was staring at me and said, oh, welcome aboard. And I look at her and say, oh, thanks. And I ended up basically going in there. But then she looked behind me and saw that no one else was behind me. She was kind of questioning it and kind of curious and then i remember as i was sitting down in my seat that i was assigned she ended up walking up to me saying um excuse me yeah what's going on is what i said um where are your parents my parents is what i said she ended up looking very confused and she's like oh my apologies are they still waiting to be on board uh no it's just me on this flight i don't have my parents with me is what i said afterwards and then she looked at me all questioning and she's like wait so you booked first class by yourself yeah i kind of did is what i said one thing i will say is that it's super weird how she asked where my parents were but at the same time i get it at the time i looked really really young so i remember i looked at her and said oh so i'm just planning this trip for myself uh you know decided to make it a work trip a work trip is what she said all confused and really questioning who the hell i was and how was i able to afford first class and a nice gucci suit i don't know she was really confused and trying to figure out what was going on and i basically summed it down for her and i made up kind of a lie saying oh i own a multi-billion dollar company and uh, just thought I should take a trip to Vegas for uh, tax write-offs. I remember the flight attendant looked at me really in questioning and said, um, can I take a look at your ID? Uh, yeah, sure. I ended up showing her my ID and when she read that I was 19 years old, she was super confused. She was like, you own a company at 19 years old? Yeah, is what I said. She ended up basically saying, well, that's very good then. And then afterwards, ended up walking away. Now, I didn't know if she actually fell for it or not, but later on, what I started to realize was that she was being really weird around me. For example, every time she would come with like the snacks that they usually give out, she would always kind of wink at me and flirt at me in a really weird way. I don't know why this flight attendant was so on my case. I don't know why she was so interested in me all of a sudden. Maybe she was a gold digger. I have no idea. But then I remember after two hours onto my flight, I remember food was getting handed out to people in first class. And me, I ended up getting the same flight attendant passing me the food that I, you know, basically ordered, which was a mac and cheese because I love macaroni and cheese 
cheese. And she looked at me saying, would you like anything else? Um, no, I'm good. Thanks. And I started eating it. But as I was eating it, I remember she ended up grabbing a napkin and she said, oh, you got some on your face. And she ended up cleaning my face for me. Now, I didn't know if that was all first class people get that kind of treatment, but there was no way, right? So I remember from there, I felt kind of awkward and said, thanks, I could just do that. And I ended up wiping my own face. But then what ended up happening next? Well, I guess you could say I was going demon mode because I remember what ended up happening was after I finished my meal, I want to say like almost half an hour later, my stomach kind of started hurting. I don't know why or what was in the mac and cheese, but my stomach started kind of burgling and it got to the point where I really had to go to the bathroom. So I basically ended up kind of getting up and rushing towards the back of the plane to go to the bathroom. But as I was heading there, I remember the flight attendant ended up seeing me and she, I think purposely bumped into me saying, oh, where are you going? I'm going to the bathroom is what I said, kind of constipated. And I ended up running there and basically letting it all go in the bathroom. But as I was in the bathroom, I ended up just sitting on the toilet seat a bit longer. I think most people do this. They just sit in the toilet seat just because they can. Kind of that reassurance of, hey, you know, let it all go. But as I was sitting there, I remember I ended up going on my phone real quick, check the time, and then out of nowhere, once again, the door knocked. Now, I thought it was someone trying to use the bathroom, so I said, occupied, like, you know, a nice gentleman would. But then afterwards, the flight attendant just ended up walking in. I remember I was kind of panicked going, wait, what, what are you doing here? And she looked at me saying, oh, um, I was just like thinking like, how are you doing? Do you need anything? Do I need anything? I'm in the bathroom is what I said to her, kind of just awkwarded out. But then she didn't really ask any more questions and kind of just ended up, you know, pushing me up against the wall and started kissing me. Now at this point, I was super weirded out. I'm like, wait a second. Wait, what? This flight attendant likes me? And then, yeah, what can I say? We basically ended up doing the devil's tango because I basically said, screw it and decided to go for it. Honestly, you only live once. And at that point, our plane was basically hovering over Vegas. So what can I say? What happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. But anyways, guys, that is basically it for today's story. Make sure you guys do leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Anyways, like I always say, follow for more embarrassing but crazy stories. Peace out, guys.